Hey guys, today I'm gonna go harvest some of the wild onion that we have around the house. Don't worry, I'm not digging around the neighbor. So uh, yesterday I was cutting grass and I came inside. My wife said that uh, some people on Facebook asking if anybody have wild onions. They wanted it because it's a type of medicine that we use uh, in Asia to treat a lot of stuff. So. I know these are wild onions because I've been research on it and I ate some myself. Okay. It's uh it's wonderful when you saute it with oil, it smells great. It's even better than regular onion that we had. I know it's safe to eat because I ate some myself. Anyway, I'm gonna go try to harvest some around my house. Hopefully I still be able to detect where they were. Because I kinda like to grow uh, wild onion around in my yard in my grass because I know bug. They don't eat wild onion, so it's kind of cool to have them around the yard. It's kind of protect your yard a little bit. All right, guys, here we go. So I know there's one spot that I've seen them all the time. chỗ này đá không mà vẫn mọc được ha cái này người ta lấy giống để trồng á nó nó ra bông á xong rồi bắt đầu năm sau có ở đây này kìa nhiều lắm đấy kìa nè chuyện đào lên nó rớt ra quá trời nè cái ổ của nó nó mọc cái nhảy cũ dữ á nè cái này ngon nè cái này có rễ holy cow this one is so deep down. I can't believe it's this deep and it's still growing. This one is so deep. 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 Let's go in the back. Just in my backyard, so it's easy. For, oh, look at that! It's warm. I need this for my garden. You see this? Yeah. See, look. This is a whole cluster of them. Gotta shake it out. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse you, excuse you. Yeah. Ba làm tại ba có bao tay vô không có bao tay. Cái chỗ này mình đi nhiều quá, cho nên đất nó không phát. Đây nhiều quá nha. Đó, nó cũ rồi đó Cũ nhỏ nhỏ quá trời Cái cũ này cũng tướng Quá trời cũ nhỏ luôn nè, nó nhảy Cái này mà người ta trồng á, biết người ta bỏ phân bón đồ nàng hoàng á Con muốn mở nước đúng không? Chờ ba chút đi Cô ba mở nước cho lúc mình chiên trứng nè ăn cục bự không u uh, củ này to quá nằm đây lâu rồi tại vì nó nằm trong đây tăng anh nó không có không có mở ra được đi Nó nói là anh vô đây không có sợ bị nhiều sâu Tại vì ở đây rất là nhiều cú nén Sâu nó chỉ nằm trên cây thôi chứ nó không có xuống gì đó Một bé Hai bé Ba bé Bốn bé Cái này bé nhỏ nhỏ Nó nhảy ra Ây 
Em biết đời nãy giờ mấy tiếng hồ Thấy không? Nó nó mới già Nó bự khổ luôn, chắc thoát luôn à Ai thích ăn xương Bảy ơi Bảy đâu Sao bảy nổi nữa Cái củ này mới dễ chậm cái củ còn rất là tươi mà cái cái cọng này nó nó khô rồi cái củ nó chịu qua tới đây luôn nó để nguyên nồi vậy nồi cho anh ta chồng như vậy lên ha có củ nó sâu lắm em nó thuốc mạnh phi đó nè thơm kinh khủng khiếp luôn thơm còn hơn hành tím phi này kho cá hay gì thử mùi ngon cái đất mà nó phải cát với mình nha củ này nó mới thích mà cái chan như củ hành của kẹo mọc sâu quá ha cái sâu nó mới không có bị lạnh chết nó mới lên lại cái này chắc cả tập luôn <cười> Chà, ngon lành cành đào ta Nó nó phải bự như vậy nè Nó ngon nè Ngon à, Bự ghê chưa Cái này tại gần chỗ này mình vườn cây mình có bón phân đồ Tưới nước còn nhiều quá lên lẹ Đó hồi mùa đông là thằng anh nó hái cái này nè Cũng bự bự vậy thôi Nó chưa đào kia, nó có củ đâu Nhiều khi nó có củ mẹ ở đây mà mình không biết làm sao Tên khi dễ thì chứ Sao nhỏ Sao nãy bác kia đi đào Củ nhỏ kia nên không chịu Mình phải nhìn cây thẳng Cái này bởi vì người ta kêu bằng quai rồi, nhìn là vậy Mọc thiên nhiên Không có chậm, không ai chậm mấy cái này Thiên nhiên vô rừng kiếm bự mà nát rồi đủ quá thơm nhỏ mang luôn còn khi mà đào sâu quá thì nó lại ở xíu xíu còn khi đào cạn thì nó cũ bự chà bá lắm quá nè quá trời luôn ui trúng hổ rồi chào nát cái xanh luôn Thấy gì cái nhiều nó bự Nó của mẹ nó nghĩ là nhiều của con Đấy nó có mấy cái tép nhỏ 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 nó rớt xuống kìa Ờ cái đó là của mẹ nhảy ra của con á Nó bự quá thì nó nó, nó chia tép ra đó. Của con quá trời luôn kiểu vậy đó chồng nó là nó khô phải không nó khô cái nào nó tét cái trong nó nhiều của con và thấy một nồi vậy chứ chắc là nó bự hái nó vừa vàng thì nó mới bự có một nồi vậy là chắc nó to chắc to tài I'm gonna sort it out so it can mail to people. Now you gotta remember, you can't really soak this in water because it will be inside a bag, so it'll get rotten. You gotta let all onions. You see how people when people harvest onions, they use it to tie it up and they hang it. If you hang it for a long time, 
it will last longer. You not wash it until you use it. So you just kind of put them together. We got some big one, but not a lot. Only a few. Most of them's a baby. But the person on Facebook wanted it so she can grow it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll send it to her so she can grow it. All these can be grown. Like this one could be grown too. Now, I have very successfully grown my Rakio onion, so I know it's a type of onion, so it should be the same. If you want the bulb to be big, it's just like any other onion, you don't bury them too deep. You want it to stick up like this, the bulb will get bigger. It's just like onions. I don't know how they grow it on the farm, but at home, almost everybody growing onions or garlic, they know that if they want their onions to be big, the bulb has to be exposed on top of the soil. If you bury it down too deep, the bulb is going to be very small. And sometimes you don't even get the onion bulb at all. You would just get the scallion on the top, which is the leaf of the onions. Oops, I forgot. These for the round. Look at the tiny little cute one. You see the reason I do this? It's because the one time that I want to grow the Rakio onions, so I saw a person on YouTube and they have a video and the person is interviewing that person asked her like where did she buy the Rakio onion farm to start to grow them and she's like she's not gonna tell people because then people know where they are at so I really wanted it and um, you know it took my wife a long time for her to research it so the one year she got it for me for my birthday and that's how I get it and I want it for a long time. So that's why this person asked for these. And I know that she really wanted it. I know what it feels like when you want something. And um, you know, people have them, but they refuse to share them. It's not like I'm asking for free. But you know, she's like, nah, I can't tell you where I get it from because you know, then people know where it is. Then it's, you know, I guess she sell them or something. So she don't want people to know where it is. But for me, if I have something, and someone needed it or really wanted it, I'm willing to share. I would spend my time and my money to share. You know why? Because I love farming. So I love people that grow stuff at home. People want to grow these, especially this type of stuff. It's like, um, it's type of uh, herb. It's like a medicine sort of kind of thing, you know? It's always good to help people out. Especially, it doesn't really cost you an arm and a leg, you know, just a few hours of going around digging and a few dollars to send it away, it's fine. So if you guys like watching my channel or my videos and you see something you want, and if I have a lot, I'm willing to share. So just leave me a message, you know, or email to me. I'll mail them to you. I love people that garden. If anybody ever eat this once, you will know the smell. The scent of these is wonderful. If you like the onion, the garlic smells, these are wonderful. And I heard you can pickle these too. Haven't tried it yet. So technically it's like uh, the ragu onion that I grow. You can pickle these. But I'll wait until this lady get this stuff. And I want to see how she grow there, or even if she makes something. I'll ask her to send me a picture to see what it's like. And maybe she'll give me a recipe to make them, you know. Then I'll start growing these if I know how to eat them. Because it's supposed to be very good for your health. If you want these both to be big, you have to give it nutrition, you know. Use organic fish fertilizer, I use it for everything. We grow them at home, so we expect it to be organic. But we put chemical. They have fertilized, but they have organic fertilized. You don't have to put chemicals fertilized. You get better crop with chemical fertilized, but they defeat the puppets of you know growing them uh, at home. Look at this baby. So cute. All right, I'm gonna get all these baby up. I'm gonna throw them back out in the yard. 
So right now, what I'm gonna do is, I wrapped it up and then I put it inside a newspaper, maybe a bubble wrap or something, if I have some. That way it won't be damaged. And I'm gonna mail it off. Same thing with these. When you wrap onions inside newspaper, it seems to stay fresh longer. I got my uh, regular onions from Japan, okay? When I received the packet, I opened it up. It was inside a piece of Japanese uh, newspaper. And I opened it up, it's all like dried up. It looked like, you know, you can't really grow it. Actually grow. And uh, if you follow me on my YouTube channel, you see I have a, a video, a couple of video, how I started out. And it become very successful. All right. So I'm just gonna get a newspaper later and wrap it as a mail all the way. There you go. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I know it's been a long video going around digging. And these wild onions, it smells wonderful. You can use them for seasoning, especially most Asian, we eat a lot of fish. So we use them to season with the fish to take the smell of the fish away. And it smells wonderful. Okay, thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like my video, share my video. Thank you so much. If you have any question or you have any request, please give me a comment or email me. I'll see you next time.